What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action, or should I say tutorial action, because we've got another build order for you today. This is the Ra Two Town Center Ta Fast Farm shenanigans. And it's a bit of a medium level build order for the sole reason of the fact that you do not get um, you, you don't get a win condition. Like there's no like single way to win the game with this build. This build is simply just really uh, diverse. You can use it on any map, works well. Uh, and in the end of the, the day, you come out with really strong economy and that's the general gist of it. So let's get into the build, right? We're gonna queue the villagers up. And we're going to start off, we have Hunt, so we're going to go get that Hunt. And our Pharaoh is going to be searching around the map. The difference between a Ra Pharaoh and a Ra Priest is fairly small. So, you don't want to worry too much about it, but... Especially at the start of the game. Every single time you find a goat, you want to send it back, they're going to be very important. And we're going to be grabbing Hunting Dogs. Very important um, because we have hunt and it makes us gather resources so much faster. It's like 30% extra and that's awesome. So we're going to put five villagers over onto our food here. Next step is going to be we want, um, we want some gold income. So we want to get out a monument and also a temple. So we found, we've done our first loop around our base. We found our town center. We found our uh, our our goat, and we're just going to wander our pharaoh back to take over the priest duties here. And you can see we've we've gathered about 50 food from each of these zebras, so in total, there's not the biggest amount there, right? Uh, of loss of fa of pharaoh empowerment. Stuff that up a bit, but that's okay. One thing you have to worry about is this this villager finishing the um the gold before he drops it off, and you can sort that out. Next thing, so I've got five villagers food, three villagers gold. The next villager is going to go on two houses. We're gonna build three houses around here, so you're gonna get a monument when you can. After this, we want to get three villagers on wood. Um, if you've only gotten, uh, if you if you don't have any hunt, you can skip hunting dogs and just go straight for husbandry. Um, no problems there. But if you get hunting dogs, you need three villages. If you don't get hunting dogs, you probably can get away with only two villages with this build. But chances are that's it's going to be worth to get the hunt on nearly every single map. So don't skimp on it. Especially with this many zebra. Like you can make a decision if there's only like two zebra here or something. Because there are spawns where you can get only two zebra. And, and you can deal with it then. Okay. After this um, this monument comes up, we want to throw up the temple. And then the village will go back with the houses. No problems there. After this, we're going to grab more villages onto food. Uh, this map's great for this. We grab the chickens. Sometimes you're going to find that there are, you find giraffe. Uh, and, and if there's a lot of lot of hunt there, it might be worth to um, to to not actually do this build order and go for more more of a hunt based build. But uh, again, at most levels of play, skipping hunt uh, it, it, and, and going for this is going to put you in a pretty pretty solid position over most players. But if you get to the top tiers of of play, it's it's um it's a little bit better to go for the other. The, the more hunty, hunty builds, but we are medium level players, so we're going for this build. Okay, so pickaxe coming through. Next thing we want to get our wood with is going to be husbandry. Our food is going to run out, and we're going to be moving on over onto these uh, these goats soon, so we do want to have husbandry for that, and we should just about get it. Uh, it is fine to get husbandry before pickaxe if you uh, have to go onto the goat a little bit earlier. So don't feel too bad about that. After we get 10 villages on food, we're sending villages over onto the um, over onto the gold until we have seven. And by that stage, we should be able to advance. And we queue up husbandry on the granary that the pharaoh is empowering. Um, 
We come over here. Fair over. By the time we get there, husbandry will be around about completed. Not only that, we'll have the resources to advance. So we're advancing with five villages on, or ten villages on food, seven villages on gold, three villages on wood. Now, as soon as we are advancing, there's not a lot to do here. So let's queue up our houses around our towers. Um, you want to basically protect the ones which are as exposed. So this back one here, not too exposed. So we don't have to worry too much about it. So, good. Now, at around about 70% um, classical age here, we want to send our villages over onto this. Uh, we can also move these villages over onto the the hunt the, the herdables here because chickens gather slower than uh, herdables and we're probably going to be farming by the time all of this is done, all of this is used. So may as well, not only that, we've also got a pharaoh on this. So we're waiting for 70%. Actually, it's pretty close. Let's go for 80%. Classical age by that stage, we should be able to get there. We don't need that. We can get more from this. Okay, 80%. We're gonna go grab some villagers. Come this way. Okay, that didn't work how I thought it would. Totally fine. We want to send about five, not four, five. Get a villager queued up. Town center is the first thing we want to throw down. Shadoof comes through, Plow comes through. One villager builds up our armory. Wadget can go scouting around. Uh, that's how we scout the rest of the map. Make sure our pharaoh's on that. And we're going to be sending villagers over to gold right now. Very important to put villagers onto gold. So we need the extra gold to get to the next age. So gold from this town center. We can even auto cure at this stage. No problem there. Because um, it's just going to be going to gold. And when Shadoof is finished, we can start queuing up these farms one at a time, right? I can't click on my units list, it's not going to work. And get them out. Some villagers come onto farms here. These villagers here want to farm. And once we have 12 villagers, this next villager here can build a farm as well, and this next villager will come out of here. Once we get 12 villagers on farms, we want to rain. Then we can just put villagers onto gold at this point. Totally fine. This, this farm is kind of crummy, but what can you do? Villagers onto gold after this. Uh, the reason why we only want 12 villagers on food here, uh, it's a little bit less economic than um, some other R2 town center builds, but we're aiming for a fast advance to the heroic age. We don't want to. We don't want to delay that advance because uh, we get beaten up a little bit by a lot of gods here. So, very important. You can be sending this villa, this town center over onto this home gold mine here. Totally fine. Uh, and you can see we're round about hitting that 800 food mark. Um, and possibly this next villager we should have enough gold. And what we can do is we can town bell here. Dump some gold here, town bell here. And then advance. And we're going to the next age through, um, through Hathor. Um, we also want to grab shaft mine here, uh, and, and now, and, and we pause for half a second. Now is when the, the, the time you need to make a decision. Um, at this point, we have no rain, so what we can do is we can use six farms here. We need about 10 villages on food. We don't need 18 villages on gold, right? 12 villages is fine for village production. Now is the decision we need to make. Do we want to go camels? Do we want to go chariot arches? If we want to go chariot arches, we just take off about Let's just say we take off, maybe get eight villagers onto wood and then we can go chariot archers. So we need to take off like maybe six, wait, five, five villagers here. Uh, leave the rest on gold and we go chariot archers, siege towers, go over more, maybe maybe take off. It doesn't depend on how hard you want to go on it. Or we go camels. Uh, and that all depends on which god you're going, what, what units they're building. They're making um, cavalry, we want to make... Um, we want to make camels if they're making infantry or archers. We want to make chariots, etc., etc. So for this build, I'm just going to go for camels. Pharaoh probably shouldn't be on this farm anymore. He's probably taking my head off. What can you do? Okay, he bolted my wagon. All right, fair enough. I was going to say the thing you don't want to actually scout too aggressively with this because you might lose it. Because um, it's really useful in rock raids. And what we what we should be doing here is Ra is making make we, we we need to decide whether or not we're going to be going for um 
defense if we have to defend or if we're playing against a goal that's not going to be aggressive. So if that goal three down centers, chances are if we advance this fast, we can move up here and we can build the Migdol out of our base next to a second gold mine to secure that gold mine. Otherwise, we need to be um, probably planting the Migdol in our base and then trying to build up units in order to move out and get our second gold mine. And that's great. As soon as we hit the next stage, villagers on auto queue going to gold and to food. Building a market up. Actually, this villager can probably just come to the corner and build a market first. Villager out of town, so I'm not sure. No problem there. And then we want to just be building villagers to food and we're getting out the, uh, the camels at this point. See how much gold I have? So much gold. So I can be building oh, the giraffe. We're just going to pretend like the giraffe don't exist. I'm going to just start spamming villagers onto gold and spamming out camels and that's going to be great. We even build another priest to empower onto our town center so we get a big amount of gold and he is coming to kill me. <coughs> and if we are feeling threatened, we can just throw down another uh, another Migdol stronghold here. He's actually making infantry here, so we do actually need to transition a little bit. So we're going we're gonna to actually be making villagers onto wood to make these come in. And what we can do is we can just sit underneath this Migdol stronghold and defend here. Not fight too much where we don't need to and we should be totally fine. As we can see, just kill off the units. Just juice justice here as well. And we can just spam our units. And at this point, we're just playing standard here. There's not really any build order. We can go and grab a town center. We just defend it against an attack. Um, and all of that good stuff is happening. Defend against everything. We don't want to take any villager losses. We can even grab Skin of the Rhino as well if we need to. And everything should be And now we've got these two two locations doing the thing and we are fine. Everything's spamming out. Not too much idle villager time at all is what we're aiming for. So we've got camera coming out, we've got chariots coming out. This this uh, gold mine is nice and secured. You can even grab out. Oh, uh, we, we don't have the right thing there. Make sure that's empowering. And secure more of the map and all the other good stuff. At this point, we've basically won the game uh, against most most players because our economy is insane um, and we, we just need to be really smart with our units and not lose them too much got this next gold this next town center more farms coming up and we want to grab another one of those gold mines every time we grab a gold mine we can we want to try and defend it with a uh, with a with a what do you call it Migdal stronghold and apparently I don't have food, so let me let me set this up. <laughs> okay, we're good now. Now we can basically just move out. So we're full population. This is generally the idea with, with Egyptian, just get full population, move out, and you're good to go. Um, securing all your gold lines and everything, and you should be good. Um, we can also throw down a siege workshop and then get a migdol over here. And you can see with this build, we're almost going to be full population uh, in villages by like 12 minutes. Um, and, and you're going to be in a really strong economic position. And everything is going to be coming in really fast. So we'll throw down another migdol just to defend this position here. Fight these guys. We can micro a little bit. Uh, if I could I even select my units. See this unit getting attacked here? I can just dodge arrows with it, right? So I actually have infinite infinite HP if the opponent doesn't micro. Little trick for you. Next thing we want to be thinking about grabbing is going to be uh, more upgrades on the economy, irrigation, um, flood uh, irrigation, and what's what did I call it? What's it called? Um, Quarry, irrigation and quarry. Um, we probably have too many villages on wood here. Totally fine. Starting our trade route. You know, we kill everything. And our trade comes in here. Grabbing our fortified town centers and idle military come forward. And we just kill him. Um, a really good use for locust is on farms. Uh, for most... Um, God, what is happening here? Uh, for, most, for most civilizations, killing the farms really slows them down. Especially Greek. 
Um, you can obviously go for the, the bigger player and try and kill villagers with it, but the locust on farms is a generally a pretty guaranteed thing. Um, when we are full population, what we can do is start trading resources to get to the next age. You can see we're just about to get there, and we want to go through either... It doesn't really matter which god, it depends on the matchup. And we want to go through in the next age. You can see it's 13 minutes. Uh, I'm advancing to the mythic age, I've got full population. Uh, I'm going to be 14 minutes and 30 second mythic age. Going through Osiris, I still have two god powers coming. Um, grabbing all my upgrades. Uh, one thing you need to know is Bowsaw is a bit of a useless upgrade. Unless you're going to get Carpenters, it really doesn't give that much of a bonus. If you're fixing up your lumber camps, right? Um, obviously you get a big bonus from like a big bonus from the, the extra carry capacity, but you don't actually get a faster gather rate due to random reasons that are hard to explain. But when we're advancing to the mythic age, get our heavy camelry, get our um, heavy chariots and we should be good there we go uh, and, and we see how many resources we have we can start buying upgrades now like armory upgrades are the last things we want to get after the line upgrades so line upgrades then armory upgrades start building some siege we can move forward start putting pressure here as well why not and we just move in and, and, and the game is basically won at this point right or at least not one but you're in a really good position with everything coming in. You can just see the resources flood in at this point and, um, and all of the upgrades you can grab. So essentially this this build, as soon as we hit the next age, you want to grab coin age and all that other stuff, um, grabbing more upgrades, every single upgrade. So the up, big upgrades when you hit the mythic age are flood control, coin age, head, um, champion, camelry champion, um, chariots, right? And you can just see how many resources I have uh, coming in, and it's really, really good. And where's my pharaoh? He's over here, right? Let me grab this. Reset him forward. We're all good. And our economy is functioning amazingly. Four villages, like we said. Make sure we do this. Now we've got full upgrades. We can start getting um, that kind of useless upgrade, and, and we'll be. We good, everything comes in, uh, and, and like I said, we're just controlling resources here, uh, and, and it's going to be killing villages and, and doing, doing things, moving forward with the big villages, and see how we've got the armories, all these upgrades come in, and it's just insane. Really big upgrade for uh, Egyptian is sun-dried mud brick as well, so if you find a favor there, you can even throw down more monuments, totally fine. And, I mean, I, like, I haven't lost any units, which is a big, big reason why I'm able to get all these upgrades. But that's just the value of, like, taking good care of after them. You can do this in real games against a lot of players. You don't need to throw your units away. You could just be sitting in your base just getting upgrades and, and just getting ahead of your opponent as well, just by having a really efficient economy. Um, there's carpenters coming in, and we can grab bronze weapons. Send out Siege Tower forward. Uh, another big upgrade is Engineers. Probably shouldn't grab it until a little bit later. Um, until you've got some Siege to use with it. Which I don't really, I've got one here. And uh, everything's gonna die here. Villagers running through us, they're gonna just get picked off. Where's my son of Cyrus? Get over here. And, 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 and at this point, it's like, what do you do? Like, you've got everything. You can grab masons. That's fine. Actually, probably. Because I'm not getting attacked, I don't need to get masons. If I was getting attacked, I'd grab it. But I, I'd rather save up for um, iron weapons, right? Now I've got champion everything. Iron weapons coming in. And it's going to be like 18 minutes. And I'm fully upgraded. Fully upgraded units. Uh, and if I didn't attack at all, this is where I'd be at. If I was just defending underneath my migdols underneath my town centers. I don't have to attack. I, you can wall off the entire map and things like that. But if I didn't attack at all, didn't lose any units, this is how fast you can get fully upgraded units. Fully upgraded economy, fully upgraded everything. Still get, keep throwing down monuments at this point because um, you're going to want to get some more favor out. Uh, this upgrade here, Desert Wind, is huge. It's essentially two lines of camelry upgrades. This gives you 20% on HP and 20% on damage. Not only that, it also gives you some extra speed, which is awesome. Um, and we can grab all of the other upgrades there as well. And it's done. What a happy day. 
And, and this is a big reason why a lot of people like Ra. It's because it's, it, it's not necessarily, you're not cheesing or anything. You're just trying to play as efficiently as possible to get your upgrades out as fast as possible. Other civilizations can do this kind of build, this kind of strategy where you don't attack and you just go for the efficient tech, right? But you can see how many resources I'm floating right now. It's insane. Um, yes. What else? I, I don't think I can get any other upgrades. I mean, crenellations is here. Guard towers is here. Signal flares is here. Uh, and we're and we're good. And, and this is and this is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, other things you could have done is grab these town centers as well. Obviously, well not obviously, but a win condition for. Um, for pretty much every god is is securing four town centers and holding onto them gives yourself an extra 40 population over your opponent opponent having one extra town center than them um so four town centers to two it gives you just a win surely this, this is the last village and we just win here right yeah there we go so that's the strategy if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe that notification bell if you like my videos and want to see them when they come out my name's Boyd, and I will see you guys next time.